What is up everyone, Taco Rick here. If you guys saw the title, well, I'm first off, I'm back with another video. Welcome back, what's up? Sponsored by Taco Clout. Uh, Taco Clout, they're actually just down in Charlotte, North Carolina. Reached out to me, we got some things. We're gonna be putting a light bar on the trailer eventually. We'll see when that happens. But uh, they sent me over some new Raptor lights because these uh, Raptor lights right here, you guys have seen the previous video I made with these Raptor lights, they're trash. They literally died within like three months of me putting them on the truck and they've been completely pointless ever since. So uh, I told them about it and they sent me over their version of the Raptor lights and they said these are way better. So we're gonna put them on the truck today and see how they do. Before we get to the install, if you guys wanna skip ahead to the install, I'll put a segment in there. You can go skip ahead to the install. But I do want to give you guys an update on the truck because I haven't filmed a video on the truck in quite a while. So for you guys that are unfamiliar with my 2020 coma right behind me right here, it is lifted. It's got a 3 inch N3 Rough Country lifted uh, strut in the front and in the back we actually now have uh, Emu lifted leaf springs. We did have originally a spacer. Go check out that video. I had to replace the uh, stock leaf springs which had a block under it with the N3 kit with actual heavy duty lifted springs from emu because of that bad boy back there which is my 12 by 6 enclosed trailer which currently this truck sits at 77,000 miles on it and probably about 40 to 50,000 miles is with that trailer right there behind it so it wore out those uh leaf springs the stock leaf springs pretty fast but that lift kit actually now has in general with the previous 2018 tacoma go check out the install but i had a 2018 tacoma rolled it, flipped it, towed it, but the suspension was still fine. So I moved the N3 Rough Country kit over to the 2020. So between the old Tacoma and this Tacoma, this suspension now has over 100,000 miles on it, which is absolutely insane. And for all you guys that hate Rough Country and all that, all I do for the most part is tow a trailer. I do go down a lot of back roads to the weddings and the venues that I do on my other sides of the company. That is why I wanted this sort of setup and also it looks dope. We do have a 275 65 R18s Goodyear Duratrax. This is the second set now I've been rocking and we have a fuel 18 inch rims. I can't even remember the specs. Go check out the previous videos. But this suspension kit is literally rode just as good as day one and um, that's pretty much the update. Other updates on the truck though. Everything on the truck is the same as it has been before. We still have the custom headlights. They are working fabulously. Like I haven't had any issues with my custom headlights when I opened them up and redid all the headlights. Put in the halos. The halos still work. All the diodynamic stuff on this is amazing. The, the amber fog lights still working amazingly. The rock lights underneath the truck still awesome as always. Everything has been great. The only thing um, at the beginning of this year I had to have some work done to the truck. That's why this badge is now chrome and uh, this mirror is chrome over here. I actually in a parking lot I was trying to turn this trailer around and didn't see there was actually an electrical box. About yay big and it literally just cut right into the side of the driver door so I had to get all that replaced and repainted earlier this spring. But other than that, truck's been stout, truck's been amazing. Um, Tacomas are awesome as always. Future mods, I still need to put a, an exhaust on this. I still have the exhaust kit in the box, in the garage, and I'm hoping here in the next two weeks, I'm gonna be able to knock out that exhaust kit. Today's video, we're gonna go ahead and install our Raptor lights in the grill which I'm really just replacing the ones that I already had in there. So uh, this is a little bit of a hybrid. If you guys haven't watched the previous video, go watch that video. In this video, we're gonna be installing the new better ones from Taco Clout, and I'll leave a link to that product in the description down below. Do not buy the Amazon pair, they're trash. Let's pop the hood and get started. So another thing I highly don't recommend is these shocks from Redline, they're terrible. But the underlights, the underlights for the truck, Still working fabulously. We have the K&N air intake. Um, that bad boy looks like it's needed cleaning as well. Pretty dirty. In general, the truck is very dirty, which hurts my soul. And I'm gonna be honest, the main reason why I haven't got around to cleaning it is because I honestly just haven't had time. It really hurts my soul. I basically get it professionally detailed now, once a year. And um, I'm gonna be honest, this is the last time I cleaned it was when it was professionally detailed, and that was back in like July. And we're in October now. Well overdue for cleaning. But the fact that I'm busy means that my company's making good money um, and we're making a lot of moves, which is 
the bigger thing that's important to me. Truck, as long as I get my, my maintenance in there properly, we're solid. So these right here are the old Raptor lights that do not work at all anymore. And I believe I had to make some modifications maybe. No, I don't think I did. Um, oh yeah, I did. I have to trim the top piece here so that it'll fit. Maybe, I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna pop these out right now. We're gonna go ahead and pull them out. These are just held in here, like they literally will just slide right out. But basically we're gonna slide them out. I'm gonna see if I can do that real quick. My goal is to not have to take the grill off to do this install. All right, so you guys are on the tripod now. So we're gonna try to wiggle these guys out. There we go, very easy. So they just slide out like that. And these are the old Amazon ones. Let's look at these guys real quick side by side with these and the new ones. So the kit from Taco Cloud actually does come with everything you need to install this properly. Um, again, go check out my original video. It's the exact same sort of harness system, um, but you basically have this harness here and that goes back to your battery or a switch inside. This doesn't have a switch included in the kit, um, but if you want to either hook this up to a switch or you can hook this up to your headlights, um, I got multiple videos. Again, I'll link them in the description down below. The original Raptor Light video and the secondary video where I actually had a fuck up in my wiring um, that I made. So both of those, go check out those videos before continuing with this video. It's very important to go learn the concepts there. That is it. But this kit does include everything you need for the fuse tap as well as your grounding thing here so that you can ground this to a grounding screw and then it has all of the raptor lights which it comes with four so gonna be honest looking at these side by side um i'm not really seeing much of a difference um but i did note in my original install i fucked up but there are arrows on the back of these lights to indicate which way is up so that way the light can naturally breathe and allow for any moisture that gets in here to get out so you need to make sure you follow the instructions which basically have a up arrow to indicate which side is up and which side is down so make sure you follow the arrow on the back of the light here that indicates which way is up so that way um you'll be good but anyways make sure you follow it the up arrow but anyways i'm gonna go ahead and pull out these other ones and then i'll show you the modification i have to do again go look at the previous video but these lights if you naturally want to put them in the grill somewhere where there's a slot you can i ended up putting them up here in the top where i had to actually dremel out some of the drip some of the grill to make them fit and i also had to modify the clips a little bit as well to again make them fit so i'm gonna go ahead and continue removing these ones and then we're gonna go ahead and install these so i had to come into the garage real quick um this is my this is my domain right here this is my domain if you haven't seen go check out the videos about this led hex hexagon ceiling i put in mini split air conditioning diy mr cool complete videos on how you do this it's actually relatively simple to install a DIY mini split. So you got heating and cooling in your garage and these lights, I mean, they're extremely dope, but I needed to get um, some snips to cut some of the old zip ties and I need some new zip ties. So just go and grab the massive pack of zip ties. We got what we needed. So I just had to remember some things, but um, the way I have this wired is it's wired to a fuse tap, which if you've never seen a fuse tap before, it looks like this right here. Basically, you put this in on a fuse that gives you the tap, which then this will now hook up to your harness. So you have to connect these two together on the harness. Um, it comes with a little shield and everything. So you just crimp these together for your power. The ground you put on a grounding screw. I'll show you guys that back in the fuse box real quick. Um, but I actually wired mine to a fuse that only turns on when the truck is on. So when the truck actually turns on, engine turns over, then the Raptor lights actually come on. So I'll briefly show that real quick. So back here behind the grill, this is actually my harness. So these are the plugs that will plug into the Raptor lights right here these guys. So basically these plugs run back and around. They come back behind the headlight, back around here to the fuse box. Now I have a lot more stuff wired up into here. Um, this is over here is my switch for my lights up here. That is wired into the battery directly. So is the light bar down there, bunch of other stuff, but this is not what you need to worry about right in here inside the fuse box. This right here is what is powering my lights so again right there is the crimp connection for the fuse tap and that wire then goes to the harness up front the black wire on the harness comes over here and is grounded right here to this ground screw which is grounded to the vehicle so all of my groundings are over here and this 
is the power that goes to the Raptor lights. And if anyone's wondering, go check out the video I showed on the wiring. You can use a variety of different ones on here, such as your headlight fuse, so that when the headlights turn on, these turn on. But I actually ended up using the INJ fuse, which is right here. This right here, INJ. That's actually the fuse that I use for my Raptor lights. Take that as you wish, but right here is my injector fuse, or the INJ fuse, and I have the fuse tap here going into it. And then that, of course, is going out to power my Raptor lights. So now, like I mentioned, I had to modify my Raptor lights to get them to fit up in this very tight section right here. As you can see, this is where I kind of dremeled out the plastic that's now gone, which is right here. I'm not sure how well you guys can see that, but I also had to modify the lights as well to fit into this area. And all I had to do was cut off those top sections. So if you see right here on the new light, you see this little lip right here, this little square. I need to cut that off so that it looks like that so it doesn't get hung up trying to slide in there on this top piece. So now with all three of those installed on the back side, I'm gonna take the wiring harness, which looks just like this, and I'm gonna plug in all of the Raptor lights like so. They just plug in snap down the connector and then the raptor light will be on and working so i'm gonna go ahead and turn on the truck plug them in and then i gotta do a little zip cut zip tie cable management on the back side and we should be done with this install and that right there is it guys that is the install of the raptor lights probably one of the easiest installs you can do on your tacoma pro grill now remember this is a aftermarket pro grill i do have a whole video installing the aftermarket pro grill mine does have the sonar sensor down below i haven't had any personal issues with it if you go check out that video i show you how to get it calibrated you have to kind of adjust and tweak your sensor so that it is perfectly straight um, and um, it takes a little bit of washers and adjustments to get it right on the back side so there's a full video on the tacoma grill but that right there is how to install raptor lights on your tacoma pro grill either aftermarket or legit oem and i think personally it looks sick now of course over here these are my diode dynamics LED runners. So these actually have a, um, I have an app on my phone. I can change these to any color I want. Right now they're going through like an orange purple theme. It's a, a Halloween, you know? And of course we have the diodynamic halos in here. These are OEM headlights. Um, I have a whole video. I took these completely apart, blacked out the interiors, added the halos, added these RGBs, and it turned out fabulous. Again, these things right here have been rocking for over two years. Best thing ever. Anyways, the new Raptor lights from Taco Clout are in. If you guys would like to check out these Raptor lights or purchase them yourself, I'll leave a link in the description down below to Taco Clout where you guys can pick up that. They also have all kinds of other things that you could ever want for your Tacoma and other vehicles as well. Check out Taco Clout. They're actually local here so that you're supporting a local business. They're just in Charlotte, North Carolina, just an hour and a half away. So great fit for uh, my channel to partner together and make some content but anyways those are the raptor lights check out the other videos for more details on installing raptor lights i will see you guys in the next video which i believe we're gonna be doing screen protectors uh, i got a sponsor for some screen protectors on my truck and on christine's 2021 rav4 hybrid xse um, the gray and silver car is looking dope toyota fam as always i'm gonna clean this vehicle hopefully by the next video probably won't but we're gonna do screen protectors and then we're gonna get that exhaust installed because you know that exhaust has been sitting in the box for two years and i really need it anyways guys hope you guys enjoyed this video like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace